Hey, I'm Alex. And today I wanna to talk about why experience matters in marketing. And more specifically, why the experience of your content matters. As brands compete with on-demand streaming services and cat videos, it's harder than ever to capture the eyes and ears of your target audience. What's more, most of the content that brands are creating falls into the territory of bland or forgettable. It's more important than ever to craft memorable experiences with your branded content, not only to capture that attention in the first place, but then translate that attention into action. Marketers can do this by realizing just how important the experience of their content truly is. So what makes an experience an experience? Think about the last time you went to a restaurant. What food did you order? How long did it take to get to your table? Was the waitstaff rude or were they incredibly helpful? It was the music so loud you couldn't even hear the person across from you speaking. You may not remember the details, but they all contributed to your overall experience with that restaurant. The little nuances ultimately decided whether that was a good or a bad experience. The same is true with your content. The design, the formatting, how it's rendered on specific devices, these are all important things to lock down. But how do you elevate a piece of content from just good enough to unforgettable? It's those little details. Slick animations as you're navigating through, layered interactions to promote a sense of exploration, and embedding rich media to surprise your visitors and hold their attention. Humans make decisions based on logic and feelings. And feelings are ultimately shaped by our experiences, which is why it's so important for brands to intentionally craft the experience of their online content. Be honest, you hate bad web content as much as the next person. It annoys you when you open a PDF on your phone and you have to pinch to zoom just to see a sentence or two. What's human about creating content that humans can't interact with in their normal everyday lives? Think about the human on the other side of the screen. Think about what you want them to do and think and feel as they move through your content. And think about how those feelings impact their overall experience with your brand. You see why this is so important? Remember the golden rule, create content that treats people the way you want to be treated. When I say the word experiential, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Do you think of an expo hall with a ridiculously cool booth? Maybe a concert at the end of a conference? Or even a branded water slide that pops up in the middle of a park? What's wrong with all these examples? Other than that we're not there now having a great time. They all take place in the physical world. None of these examples of what marketers consider experiential marketing happens online. And more often than not, even when our audience does engage with us at one of these incredible activations, we follow up with stale PDFs or uninspired emails. It's time for marketers to start minding the gap between how we create experiences in the physical and digital worlds. We need to bridge this gap in order to build deeper connections with our audience everywhere they're engaging with our brand. We all know we need to be creating useful, quality content to fuel our marketing. Where marketers often fall short is in thoughtfully crafting the experience they want their audience to have with their digital content. Emotion plays a large part in how we as humans color the world and make decisions. Craft experiences that inform your audience's feelings in a way that positively shapes their perception of your brand. We hope this video gives you some things to think about as you go create content for your own marketing initiatives. Come visit us at Saros Resources for all things experiential content and make sure to subscribe for the latest and greatest from the team at Saros.